Hi everyone and welcome to another video where I spill the tea on a tarot deck. My name is Debbie and I am from Spill the Tea Leaf Readings and More. I read tarot cards and tea leaf readings and if you're interested in getting a reading from me you can comment below, message me, or email me at info at spillthetealeaf.com. So today I am spilling the tea on the Secret Tarot mini deck, which I assume is the same as the regular size deck, but I don't have the regular size deck, so I don't know. If you know, let me know. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's dive right in looking at the box, which is your typical cardboard box. You can see some of the cards on there. Um, and it does tell you right on the box that the artwork is by Marco Nizzoli, who's the only creator I can find. Um, and as you can see, this box is one that did not last very long. I've already managed to rip it. So it's clearly not a good quality box, um, but it is your typical cardboard tarot one. Um, I will just say as I'm starting to show you these cards that I got these when I was in Salem. I was a little disappointed because I didn't find a tarot deck that I wanted to bring home with me, which is something I usually try to do when I'm in Salem, find a new tarot deck. And I was buying something else at a store and this mini deck was at the counter and I was like, oh, I think I like this artwork. It's a mini deck. It doesn't cost much. I might as well get it. And so I did and I brought it home. And as a whole, I like the deck, but when I stop and look at the individual cards, I don't like them as much. Um, and in part, uh, it's just the artwork itself. And, in, and the other part of that is that um, my intuition doesn't quite jive with it. I also have forgotten to mention that this deck does feature a lot of nudity. So if you are someone who doesn't like nudity, I do apologize. This deck does have its fair share more than um, your average tarot deck. So you can see some of these cards are really traditional in their imagery and some of them are not. Um, and this is just the major arcana. This one I don't get at all. The sun's like one of my favorite cards and I do not like it in this deck. Um, so that's the major arcana. All right, so here we have cups or chalices. So this one I find interesting. All the cups are upright, which totally messes with how I see that card, personally. Um... I know it's like it's it's just different enough that it it throws me in the court cards I have a lot of trouble with. And when we talk about the um the guidebook, keep this card in mind because I'm gonna use this one as an example of of things I don't get about this deck and disagree with about this deck. Alright, so those are the chalices. Next, we have pentacles. So the creator of the stack, in some instances, kept the meaning. In some cases, kept the meaning and added to it. In some cases, changed the meanings of the cards altogether, which, you know, is the creator's prerogative to do. Um, but it's interesting because... Again, as you can see, it's just traditional enough looking and just different looking that if you're familiar with the traditional um, Coleman Rider weight deck, these cards will seem familiar and then completely throw you off at the same time. Wands. And this deck also feels like inherently dangerous somehow, which I guess, you know, it's secret. And so it's the secrets of the deck that maybe 
combined with the artwork that make it feel dangerous. I did do a deck interview with this in preparation for this video. Here are the swords. And at first it was giving me all good vibes and then it wasn't. So I don't know what to think. Um, it's an interesting deck. I don't know how often I'll actually use it. I have a little bit of buyer's remorse about it. But as someone who collects tarot cards, it's always nice to have things that are different. So those are the cards. Now, because this is a mini deck, um, I don't know how different what comes with this deck would be if I had bought the regular size one, which I saw on my next trip to Salem after buying this deck. Um, but you can see right in front of the cards, I do have the things it comes with. It comes with um, some title cards here. So they don't really have any extra information. Sorry, the focus on my camera has not decided to chime in there, but there isn't really much to see. And then this is the guidebook, which I'm grateful to have because not all decks come with one. And it is small, but this is a mini deck and it looks pretty thick for a mini deck. But this actually has a few different languages in it, so it's really not that big at all. Um, so the first page has, and it's interesting how this, this is put together, it has the Celtic cross there, but it's not actually going to talk about the Celtic cross till later. Um, I don't know why I'm focused. There we go. So you can see that there's a few different languages. So what the guidebook actually has for English speakers like myself is that much. And that's it. The rest of this, all of this, is the same thing in different languages. So let's take a look at this. Um, as I mentioned, obviously, you can see that the Celtic cross is in here. And uh, here you have what it looks like. And later on, we'll have what the individual cards are. There's a quick introduction to the deck. And then it launches right into the meanings. And there's a few words for each card and then it's separated by suit. Um, so remember that knight chalicer seducer. He looked like an evil warrior. So I, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, I wonder if the bigger deck has better explanations of the cards. Because these do not suffice in my opinion. So here's the Celtic card. Uh, Celtic cross, excuse me. Um, explanation. And then it also tells you about card of the day. So the sky book isn't very helpful. The thing that I am glad, the reason that I'm glad to have it, let's put it that way, is that you see my intuitions on these cards is not easy and it makes me question myself and my judgment. So using the book, I can see like, oh no, my intuition was right. Or like, oh, my intuition was wrong, but it's because when I look at this picture, it doesn't match the meaning in the book at all. Um, so again, let me find that knight and show you. Maybe you can explain this to me better than the book can. So here is the knight of cups, or chalices, and he's a seducer. I mean, he's holding the cup up to you, I guess, but that's the only thing that I could even see as being seductive. Um, it's very odd. And while you could say that, well, the Knight of Cups traditionally you could read as seducer, fine. But there are other cards in here where the meanings don't match um, the traditional meanings. And so can I decide to just read them as if they were a traditional... Rider weight deck and not worry about the creator's intention for this deck? Sure. Um, but that also means that I have to remember all those meanings um, or at least remember all the pictures on the card so I can then use my intuition to read a card that's not in front of me, which is interesting. So I feel bad 
saying that this is a bad deck because part of me wonders if there's more information to be found in the guidebook that comes with the regular size secret tarot deck and if that would help me figure it out more. But I'm not going to buy it because I have the mini one. And so for the mini one, I just, I'm not happy with it. There's not, there's not a lot to go on intuition wise that at least matches the intentions of the creator um, or the traditional meanings ascribed to the cards. So it's a confusing deck. There isn't a lot of information. There's a couple spreads, but Celtic Cross and Card of the Day barely count. They're definitely not original. One isn't even really a spread. So if you're someone thinking about this deck, if you like the artwork, if it speaks to you, of course get it. But I don't know. I'm not sold on it. I do have buyer's remorse, as I said. So that's kind of that. Um, however, if you are someone who would like to know more about the deck, I'm happy to chat with you. If you want to share your feelings about the deck with me, please let me know. Feel free to comment below. And if you do want a reading with this deck, I'm happy to do one for you um, with this or any deck. Um, so just let me know. You can comment below. You can message me. You can also email me at info at spillthetealeaf.com. Well, thanks so much for watching my video, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.